Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this gingerbread man phone case, I'm gonna first make my gingerbread man. If you have a cookie cutter that shape, just use that instead using my piece of paper, my pencil, and a piping tip, Welton 12, and another round shape. In this case, I'm using this cookie cutter that is kind of like a smaller one. I don't have the measurements of this round cookie cutter, but this is kind of like in comparison with my uh, piping tip, but just any round shape that is bigger. So first I'm gonna trace the circle on my round cookie cutter, then I'll trace the line from that towards the bottom of my paper, and then another line below the circle, then two lines going from the circle to the bottom part. With my uh, piping tip, I'm going to be placing that not in the like middle of this line, like three quarters across that line. And the bottom part, tracing a line first, that's like when I stop this shape, and then tracing another like two circles. I'll just trace a bunch of lines, kind of like forming a UB almost, and then on my neck, like that. I'm going to cut it this so this is going to be my template. I'll use some foamy paper for my shape itself and I'm going to trace the shape of my template and then at the end I just realized that I didn't like the shape that much and I went with my pencil, you know, worked on like details on how I wanted my shape to be and then I'm going to cut the shape. If you like this shape, I'm going to have on my blog a picture of this. If you want to go for this, just print it. I'm going to be painting this in brown. I made this brown acrylic paint, by the way. Towards the end, you're going to see that it looks much lighter. It's because I added more yellow, but I didn't show you that part because it was messy. But anyways, I'm going to be taking this dating tool that I do have the DIY on, working on the like, glaze details on the legs and arms. Then I'll take this other dotting tool. I do have the DIY for this one as well. It's pretty easy to make to add details of the eyes. Two dots there, the smile with the other dotting tool. Then the details on my top with my bigger dotting tool. Topping that with green and red acrylic paint. For the phone case, I'm going to be painting this first in white. And my phone it used to be clear at some point many months ago. Um, it's horribly stained, but I use this to paint over this. And feel free to start with any phone case color. It doesn't need to be white at all. And my paint, I have it on my tiny bowl. I do have a DIY showing you where I got this from. Then I did like two coats of this vintage white and the white was just a base so that everything looked brighter. I'm going to be taking again my green, my red and the smaller dotting tool that I used before to add some dots in a polka dot pattern. Cleaning with some like damp cotton ball in between my green and my red and just going red, green, red, green but adding a row with one color acrylic paint and then switching between. I hope this makes more sense by just watching what I'm doing. Then I'll take my super glue and I'm gonna glue my gingerbread man on the middle in there. And I'll finish up by adding a coat of gloss. And the gloss that I'm using for this for this time is my Sculpey gloss and just adding two to three coats of this one. But yeah, as I mentioned before, first I did this whole thing with my darker brown and this is what it looks like. I think it looks cute, but it's too dark for what I wanted to go for. So I painted the whole thing with the gloss on top and everything lighter. And this is what this one looks like. I think this lighter shade of brown is more of a gingerbread man brown, but you feel free to use the one you like the most. I think it's a kid and adult phone case. I think it looks really cute. It's it's so much fun to make, festive and yeah, ready for the holidays. But yeah, I really like it. Hopefully you like it too. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below. Check out more phone cases that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.